happy Sunday, everybody. We are back at Disney California Adventure today. Bye. Yes. Last weekend was D23 Expo. We have sufficiently recovered, I think. Uh, Ish. Debatable. Okay. But I will say that there is lost footage from two Sundays ago. Where we tried to do what we're doing today. Well, well, well. We hope we're, doing, we're doing, today. doing today. What is our goal today? To get the ghost pepper nachos at Lamplight. Like ghost pepper nachos. We will see if we survive. Being from Northern Minnesota, spicy isn't always my thing. I'm trying though. You are. I'm working my way up. Never tried this though, so this will be interesting. It'd be really funny if it's just not bad at all, but uh, <laughs> anyway, our main goal of today is ghost pepper nachos. That's really all it's about. So we're gonna rope drop lamplight, hopefully get right in, get those peppers, or not peppers, those nachos, and hopefully have a wonderful day here at Disney California Adventure in the Disneyland Resort. And it's not too hot today, because the last time we tried, it was like 106 degrees. And that's why it is. And that's why they weren't serving food. So today it's supposed to get to 77, which is beautiful. So we're gonna enjoy a Halloween day in the park and hopefully some ghost pepper nachos that don't turn us into ghosts. As you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful day here at Disney California Adventure as the seagulls play in the bay. But we're not here for seagulls. We're here to hopefully rope drop Lamplight. There's a lot of seagulls on Lamplight. There are a lot of seagulls down there. So here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk up, open our apps, and hopefully join the walk-up list right when the establishment opens. And if we're lucky, that means we get in. If we're not lucky, this might be a very short vlog. We will see. But it's a beautiful day. Either way, it's gonna be fun. It's not 106 degrees, which in hindsight makes a huge difference because last time was a bit warm. Bit, a bit. Um, as you can see, there's other people here doing exactly what we're doing. But if you don't have reservations, this is a good way to attempt to get in, is either watching the wait list, the walk up list, I should say, or showing right up as it opens and hoping you can get into the app. Right, Katie? Are you ready? <laughs> we have 11 minutes. Uh, Actually, it might be more because sometimes they start late. As you can see, people are starting to line up hoping it helps, but it really doesn't because the app just isn't ready yet. And once they turn on the app, all of these people can then attempt to get into Lamplight. It's a very amusing thing to see because this happens pretty much every time we come to Lamplight at Rope Drop. Gate Drop? I don't know what to call it. We have three minutes until, in theory, the app gets turned on. Or walk-up list gets turned on. The line continues to get longer. As you can see, it's almost time. It's uh, 29. We got about 25 seconds. We're watching our watches. This does not mean this will work right at the moment because most times it doesn't get turned on until after. And uh, now we have about 10 seconds. <laughs> now we have about five, four, three, two, one, go. And this is pretty common, is at 11.30, it's not actually ready. So now we just keep doing this until it works. It says it's at capacity. Which it often does at the beginning. So you keep doing this until you get in, hopefully. We'll give you an update when we actually do get in. Wish us luck. As you can see, we just got on the list. It's going to be a 10 minute wait. It took about, what, four minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes until it went live. And usually this is the point where people start realizing that, that it's working. And um, hopefully everybody 
gets in. Are you excited, Katie? I'm scared. Yeah. It'll be good. We've received our notification. It was not 10 minutes. It was like four minutes, which is amazing. Right? That's yeah. About that. So we're going to go up and hopefully get in. We have been seated at the bar, which is actually a really fun place to sit. And we've had a lot of fun with bartenders in the past year. And uh, the whole point of today, though, is because for Halloween time, they have the ghost pepper nachos somewhere in here. Maybe on the back. They might even be on here. They're not on here because they're special. But uh, normally we would get regular nachos with steak. Is that what we normally get? Yes. Uh, but today we're going out on a limb. We'll see how this goes. The time is almost on us. Are you ready for ghost pepper nachos, Katie? It's gonna be fun. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna be an adventure and I can't wait. And I can't wait for you all to see us. We're actually gonna eat on camera today and see how this goes. That's normally a no-no for the world of daps, but I feel like for ghost pepper nachos, this needs to happen. Do you agree? I see one arriving over there. It looks good. The ghost pepper nachos have arrived. Our guess is the green stuff is the ghost pepper, like a salsa maybe or something. What do you think, Katie? Are you ready for this? How excited are you for this? Scared. Scared. All right, we're gonna set the camera up so you can watch us, and uh, so we're gonna try ghost pepper nachos. Wish us luck. It is time. Ghost pepper nachos time. We're gonna do it at the same time, right? Yeah. Hey, well, yeah. All right. So grab it. Grab a chip. Make sure there's ghost pepper stuff on it. Smell it. it smells good. I guess. I don't know. You don't have as much green stuff as mine. All right. We're gonna go for it. Then we're gonna tell you how we do. Okay, there's, there's some heat. What do you think? I definitely had more green stuff than you did. And my mouth is, is getting spicy. This is the spiciest thing I've had here. It's, it's, it's good. Um, it's spicy. It's spicy, isn't it? Have we had anything this spicy at Disney before? I like it, but it is spicy, and my face is red, and thankfully there's backlight, so you can't tell. I need water. I like it. Two thumbs up. It is definitely the spiciest thing I've had at Disney, and I'm sweating. But I like it. What do you think? Tasty. It's my mouth's on fire. My mouth is a little bit on fire, and that's from one bite. We still have all of this to go. This is gonna be adventure. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely hot though. Like I can feel it, like kind of going back into my throat. This like heat dry thing going on, which is an adventure. It's definitely an adventure. Katie's face is red. You can't see this, but her face <laughs> is definitely red. Um, I'm gonna try another bite. If you're good with spice, you're gonna be fine with this. Um, it is hot. It's not unbearably hot though. Like I've had spicier things from like a salsa. Like this is, I don't know, it's a hot salsa, I guess. Um, I can definitely feel it. Like I can, I can feel the burn in my mouth. How about you, Katie? I need water. And we need water. But would you get this again? You wouldn't get it again, I would get it again. Which is shocking. It is shocking. But it's it's good, like it's good in a weird way. I would get it preferably on a cool afternoon or evening. And I'm glad we didn't get it last weekend because at 106 degrees, this would have been, we were sweating already, we would have been dead. All right, we're gonna enjoy the rest of these and then we'll do a review of what we thought after we finished an entire plate of these. We're about halfway through the nachos, and I will say my mouth is on fire. Yes, please. Definitely Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's warm. 
Um, I've been eating the ones with the green stuff, so is mine. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, I will say it's almost hard to talk with how spicy my mouth feels right now, and we still have half to go. Here, I'll show you. What do you think? There you go. Like, we, we still have more than half, maybe, to go, unfortunately. Um, my tongue is not. I might be, uh, I'm gonna step back, and for a minute ago I said I would reorder this, and I would order this again. I'm gonna switch that, because the first couple bites, I was like, oh yeah, this is good. And now I'm kind of into this, like, oh man, my mouth is on fire, and I'm sweating like crazy from. I am glad to do this for the experience, and it's a fun experience, but it's definitely spicy. And we've got a long ways to go, and there's a lot of that green stuff that seems to be the spicy stuff to go, which I'm sure is the ghost pepper. Like a cream. Although there doesn't seem to be cream in it. What is it? Oh, it's the cheese, cheese sauce. Oh, it's the cheese sauce. See, and I almost feel like the salsa is spicier. I don't know. Maybe it is a cheese sauce because it's all together. All right. We'll see if Katie starts crying by the end of this. All right. Look at this one. There's tons of cheese sauce and everything else on it. I might die. I don't think it's all going to fit in my mouth for one, but... Do you want it? No? Okay. It also has too much cilantro. There's a lot of cilantro on this one. It, it'll be... It's gonna be an adventure. Enjoy your cheese sauce. Solidarity. Oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> so the thing is, when you first take the bite, not that bad. Then you wait a couple seconds, and now you start feeling it. And you can feel it like going up your nose into the back of your eyes. At least that's what I'm feeling right now. And then you realize, my brow is sweating 90 times more. And my then nose it, is running. And then it kicks back to your nose. And now, right now, <laughs> I can literally feel my breath burning the insides of my mouth. Like it went through this process of up and then back down. And uh, I'm amazed I can still taste these things because it is it is spicy. Like this is fun in a like glutton for punishment way. Um, this is an adventure. <laughs> We're almost done. We have like 12 chips left. A little bit. Um, I would say it's getting easier, but I think we're just getting used to it. Um, am I right? You're not getting used to it. I'm just used to my mouth on fire, sweating, feeling like I'm gonna cough and cry, and uh, have my nose fall out all at the same time. Right? Yeah. Um, I actually would do this again with somebody who hasn't had this before, because I think it's a fun experience, and I'm really enjoying the experience of being out of my comfort zone. I love that you started with, I would order it again, and then you went, I'm not going to order it again, and then you went, I would order it again with someone who hasn't had it. Well, as I've gotten further, I feel like my ability to handle it has gotten better. The chicken's really good. It is really good, and I really like the bean sauce, and I like, I actually like all of the elements on it. If the spice level was a little bit down, it would be easier. I also like that it's completely different than the other nachos you get here. Like, normally you have beans, you have jalapenos on top, and this they took a different approach too, which I appreciate. And uh, I could not do this by myself, I can tell you that. Um, but I don't know if Katie can do it even with help. But, I'm enjoying this experience, and I would do it again. It's going to be a great story. It's, it's, it definitely is the story, and it's something that I can say I've done. As you can see, we finished the nachos. We have survived. We're going to wait a few minutes before we give our end of the meal review so that we can see how we feel. In fact, I think we should wait like 15, 20 minutes just to see how we... I almost want to say recover. Um, yeah. Might be recovered. <clears throat> yeah. So, we'll see how this goes. We have survived the ghost pepper nachos. We lived. I don't know how happy my stomach is going to be. That's a question for later. Um, I actually liked the experience. And again, it's a great story. It's a great story. I think I liked them. I don't actually know because it was definitely the top level of my spice tolerance. 
I like all the elements of it. I yes. really love, um, I think what would have made it amazing Milk. is like fresh avocado. Actually, the, I the agree. creaminess. It and needed like not... something to balance because it was a lot of spice. And I think oh. the black bean puree was supposed was to do that. Relief, yeah. But I needed more of it. But like not a guacamole, like a fresh sliced avocado. Yeah, that would have been good. That a lot. That, or like little chopped up pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, like, I think that would have took like, over the top. Of the the plant, like avocado. Yeah. Um, but if you really get like the, if you take out all the elements in the Cheese sauce is really good. Cheese sauce is really good. Salsa, really good. salsa verde, I guess, salsa is what. Salsa is really good. Like, all yep. the parts of it are really good. Yep. At least when you put it together, it's, it's a lot. very spicy, and it makes your nose hurt. And it's, it's, it's an experience. Like, that's what you're getting with this, is an experience. If you like spicy things, this is for you. Like, go for it, get it, you won't. I like this, that you and I are both spicy, loving. I'm an attempted spicy. Yeah, I, I love like, spicy. I like, okay, so it's not just me that it's super spicy. No, it was very spicy. And, and we should be completely fair with this. Who ate most? You. Yes. Oh, I, I won't even shy away from that. We'll see if I can walk in a few hours. I don't know. Um, but it was a fun experience. It's definitely worth checking out these seasonal offerings at different places like Lamplight. Uh, I'm, I'm on the fence on if I try it again. I know you wouldn't. I... You, were, you were done after like two bites. Uh, um, honestly, and this is an honest answer, I think if I ordered it without cilantro, I would have helped better. Because there was I'm a not, lot of cilantro. I don't too. have like the soap cilantro gene. I just don't like cilantro. Okay. I just don't like it. Okay. Um, so I think that without that, I would have gotten a lot more. Well, and I'll also say, I felt like the recovery time was way less than I thought it was going to oh, be. Honey. Like 10 I minutes I would after. I still be uncomfortable right now. Yeah, probably 10 minutes after we finished eating it, I was like, oh, I'm okay again. Yeah. Um, but it was it was an experience. You sweat, you feel it in your throat, you feel it in your nose, you feel it in your mouth especially. And uh, if you like those things, this is for you. If you're not a huge spicy person, do not try this. Like, when I just moved to California from northern Minnesota, if I had tried this, I would have been miserable. <laughs> like, that's just not something that I would have even remotely enjoyed. Um, I'm on the fence if I do it again, but I'm glad I did it. I'm glad we did it too. I think it was really fun. Um, and it was definitely, definitely spicier, spicier than I expected it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Because so always, well done Disney, because usually they play it safe. with Disney and we go, oh, it says it's spicy, it's really not. Huh? Yeah. Um, but this was really spicy. Yep. So. Well done Disney. Thank you for the experience. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you see more things like this. And if you want more food reviews like this, let us know in the comments and uh, we'll try to make that happen. But uh, that is what we got for you this time. We hope you've enjoyed our uh, adventure in, in foods. <laughs> adventures and culinary adventures. Culinary adventures. We look forward to another one in the future and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the parks. <laughs> Yeah.